it's Lucy. Everyone knows the scariest horror stories are the ones that could actually come true, were still the ones that could happen to you. So don't watch this at midnight because I'm about to tell you every PhD student's worst nightmare. First, let me set the stage with my characters. This is Hard Drive 1, we're going to call it the Mars Drive. This is Hard Drive 2, we're going to call it the Earth Drive. And this is Hard Drive 3, which we're going to call the Space Drive. In Mars, this is where I have all my personal documents, so old bits of writing, old photographs, and I also have a backup of my computer here. In Earth, this is where I keep my PhD data, I also keep these videos and other very large files. Space is a backup of both of these, so that's a double backup of my computer. Sounds great, right? Okay, if my data is so secure, what happens if this one breaks? As actually happened to me a month ago. You know what? That's fine. This is just a backup drive. Fine. But what then happens while your backup drive is being replaced if this one breaks? When I say break, by the way, I don't mean I am dropping these from a two-story building. I mean, I was sat with my laptop on my knee with the hard drive plugged in, forgot it was plugged in and I stood up, lifted the laptop off and the hard drive grazed the carpet. The carpet. All of my old photos going back to 2010, all of my old stories going back to 2008, gone. I went through all five stages of grief. First, denial. I'm gonna check every USB stick I ever own because there's gotta be a backup somewhere. Second, anger. I grazed it on the floor. Grazed on the carpet. Third, bargaining. It's fine, my cousin is a computer expert. He will be able to fix it for me if I pay him in beer and pizza. Turns out he can't fix it. Okay, uh, let's pay data recovery to fix it. Data recovery costs thousands of pounds. Oh. Fourth is depression because I've lost the memories in those photographs and I've lost the writing skills in those stories and all of this was entirely avoidable. Five is acceptance because, you know what, I don't need those photos. I've got the best ones printed out right here. And do you know what? For most of humanity's existence, we, we didn't even have cameras. So these memories are still inside my head and I'll always have them. It's fine, it's not the end of the world. And so I got over it and I made my peace and I moved on. Then a few weeks ago, I was visiting home and I suddenly thought, do you know what? Before I had my Mars drive at the start of my PhD, I had an old hard drive that beeped and made weird noises, which is why I replaced it. And I suddenly thought, where is that hard drive now? And did I wipe it clean? We found it, we plugged it in, and there it all was. All my photos, all my stories, everything from before I started my PhD. Oh, I started crying into my dad's shoulder. <laughs> I can't believe it. I've now bought a new hard drive and I now use this and these three to cross backup backups across all three of them. I also email updates of my most important files regularly. I use Dropbox, I use iCloud. I've also started making physical time machines on little USBs that I then leave at my parents' house just in case Oxford got nuclear bombed. Listen very carefully to me and then repeat after me. Back up the backups of your backups. And again, back up the backups of your backups. Losing my personal files was not the end of my world. It was a stupid mistake. It could have been avoided, but I moved on. But if that was my thesis, if that was two years of my life's work, I would not have dark hair right now. I would have white hair and I would be catatonic. Please, please, don't make the same mistake I did. This horror story got a happy ending, but it was entirely preventable, and it is never too much money or too much effort to make your data safe. If you value what you do, if you value your work, your time, your memories, then you will make it safe, and you will back it up. And also, get your photos in photo frames. They deserve it. Thank you for watching. Share this video to save a life. You never know which of your friends might really need to hear it. My name is Lucy Kizik. I'm a third-year PhD student at the University of Oxford, and take care until next time.